Hey Google, what day is it? It is Wednesday, the 3rd of July, 2019. Hey Google, how many days until August 25th? 53 days. Hey Google, what is the weather like today? In Victoria today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 19 and a low of 12. Right now it's 14 and cloudy. Hey, it's day three and I get fitted for my bike at Trek Pro City, Victoria, and I think I said that correctly. So without further ado, Okay, so here's the rig we've got Jesse set up with. Uh, this is the Trek Amanda. Uh, the Amanda is their all-round bike that does everything amazing. So it's lightweight, climbs really well, super speedy, uh, and also comfortable at the same time. Uh, so this particular model is uh, using the Shimano 105 Grupo. So the 105 component tree is the workhorse Grupo of Shimano's line. Does everything extremely well gonna help him get through his, his long mission. Um, so super adjustable, so we can adjust things like the stem length, we can adjust things like handlebar reach and, and width, um, different saddles available to get him comfy. So this will be his rocket ship to get him going. Okay, okay so start again, sure. Bill. Bill, Bill, five, four, Okay, Jesse, next we're gonna get you set up on your bike to make you the most efficient and the most comfortable we can for the whole duration of your ride. Okay. Uh, so there's little tweaks that we can do to make you maybe a little bit more powerful or spin a bit smoother, but what we want is the best for the longest duration, okay? So what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at some refer reference points on your body that we're gonna set angles off of, okay? So the angles are gonna make you comfortable and make you efficient. So what we want is we want a proper leg bend so that you're not overextending and also you're extending enough. So generally, generally speaking, if your seat is too low, you start getting issues with the front side of your knees and your leg. So you, you'll have fatigue at the base of your quad and also in your underneath your knee, so in your patella. Okay. okay. So we want to make sure we've got enough extension for that. So if your seat is too high, usually what will happen is you'll feel down the back of your leg. So you'll have stuff in your hips bugging you, your hamstrings are getting extended too far. So you have a pulling in your hamstrings. And then also it, it will relate into the insertion points in the inside of your knee. So it can be inside your knee that starts hurting. Okay. So we want to make sure that we get all those things dialed in so you don't get any of those issues. So then when we look at your arm, position and your torso angle that's based off of your back flexibility back strength and core strength okay so the stronger you get the lower you get the lower you get the more aerodynamic you are and the faster you go okay so there's a little bit of your body breaking into cycling but we want you to be comfortable and happy right from the get-go so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at your hip the center of your knee and the bump on your ankle okay so the bump on your ankle is gonna be our bottom, bottom reference point, middle of the knee and hip. So a neutral position, okay, is a 30 degree knee angle. So that's gonna give us the proper amount of bend that we want, but not too much. So 30 degrees based on those points. Now, the tighter your hamstrings, the lower the saddle comes. So if your hamstrings are tight, you might drop that down a little bit and get to kind of like a 35 degree knee angle. So um, hamstring flexibility comes into bike fitting. So once we get that set, everything else starts moving around it, okay? So as we're doing your, your leg angle here, we're also gonna be looking at the fore and aft. So the fore and aft is when we bring our pedals flat, like so, the front of the knee should intersect the end of the crank arm, okay? So to measure these things, we need little fancy tools and we probably need somebody to help you out in measuring. So we're gonna take a plumb line and we're just gonna drop it straight down from your knee. And you can see right now we're sitting way in front of the crank arm, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna move you back and we wanna get that plumb line right to the front of the crank arm there, okay? 
Okay. And we'll go back a little bit more. Like so. Okay, so we're getting that closer. So now what we'll do is we'll come to the bottom of the revolution right here. And here we're going to put your foot in its pedaling position, which you call ankling. So as you're pedaling, your foot will be in a, in a natural position here, which we're going to simulate. So then what we can do is we can measure that angle with our goniometer. So we get our reference See, points. That's kind of fast. Goniometer, I know, eh? Okay. And right now we're sitting at about a 40 degree knee angle, which means that we need to raise it up a bit. So we go up a little, and we check it again. So now we're at that 30 degrees. So once we get the set, this set, what we want to do is we want to work on our upper body working around the saddle position. So this is, you have a natural torso angle and then your arms will reach out to the bars comfortably. So I always think of it as shaking hands with the kid. You bend at the waist and put yourself in your cycling position and your torso, torso angle and you reach out and you shake hands with the kid. So you don't, you don't uh, roll your wrist down or roll your wrist up. They're just in a natural position. The other thing that can happen is if the handlebars are too high, you sh shrug your shoulders up and you can't relax down into that position. If it's too low, what happens is you fall down into the handlebars and you put extra pressure onto your hands. So this is something that you need to experiment with a little bit. So as you're riding, you'll feel those issues that you get with your hands and that. So that's where it comes in and we tweak it up a bit, okay? So all the fitting we do is up at the hoods here in your hoods position. It's because that is where you do most of your riding. Okay. So right now you can see you're putting a fair amount of pressure on your hands and that and you're reaching out pretty pretty far so let's just bring you back a bit and so this is where you get to help me and give me feedback so is that feeling better it feels better than before yeah, yeah cool we'll come back a little bit more now let me see we raise it up a little bit how's that feeling feel way better yeah so now we'll just get you pedaling a bit See you're still reaching out a little bit, so bring you back a little bit more. Now we're getting into a more comfortable position. So now based on how you're going to be riding. We can put you into a bit more aggressive a position. Now, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, comment below because I'm posting every single day. I need to hear from you guys. What do you want to see? What do you want to uh, do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to shout out about? Remember that these videos are for the ride to conquer cancer. If you share them, more people see them. If more people see them, more people donate. If more people donate, yay! So that's the whole goal for everything. So make sure to subscribe to follow along on the journey and I'll be posting every single day until August 25th.